page 19 here, okay? So page 19, and we will do uh, something like this. VDD here. I'm starting in the upper uh, left uh, left corner. Okay. So. All right. That's like transistors one and two. All right. Oh, actually, um, uh, it's a it's a tiny bit it's a tiny bit confusing the way they phrased it. But let's look at it this way. What is this? What did I just draw? Inverter, right? So this is a this output is not a. Okay. Um, Let's see, is there another inverter there? Yes, there is another inverter for B. So that's, that kind of stuff is definitely relevant for you, guys, okay? So there's B then also goes in, this is VTT. I'm gonna step to the side in a second here, okay? So B is coming in here and this is coming out, not B, right? So you already know what W is and you already know what V is actually, right? So actually that's the, the first part of it is, uh, the first part of it is done. Do you guys see how that is? It's kind of a lot of ado about not that much, right? The problem, uh, the problem asks. Uh, the problem asks for what the outputs V and W look like, and V and W are just V is just not A, right? And W is not B. Okay. All right. So. Really, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, I think we've already gone through uh, a lot of uh, uh, possibility of the of the of the value here, right? There is is there another inverter there? There is another inverter drawn in a kind of really ugly way, right in the center of the circuit diagram. Okay, there is a there is an inverter. Oh, you know what? And I'm not, I'm not even liking it because uh, it's connecting, it's connecting uh, the 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 top of the PMOS to the logical output of the gate, which is uh, not really good form. Okay, but this is a uh, this is this is an inverter here, kind of in the center of it, just drawn a different way. And we're not going to do stuff like that to you. Okay. So there is an inverter right in the center, and B comes in here, okay? And B comes in here, and uh, W comes in here. And what's W? W is just not B, right? <clears throat> so that's just another an inverter except oriented uh, this way, okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's connected atrociously, so... Um, with this line over here, it's really connected badly. Okay, so not gonna not gonna go really much farther than this. All right. Don't like this logic diagram very much. Um, a lot of busy busy work in terms of where, which transistors turn on, and uh, just kind of half of the confusion of the problem is just figuring out. What uh, what they're trying to do? Um, <clears throat> a much better problem to do uh, something like this is another CMOS problem. Um, there are a couple of ones. One was from last exam, okay, the multiple choice exam. Do you guys know there is like a big CMOS circuit on last semester's exam? That CMOS circuit we actually gave it to the students like the day before the exam. 
and we said, here, this is a CMOS circuit. It's going to be on the exam. Okay? We didn't ask any questions, but, you know, the students did a good job and answered the questions, which was normally a very difficult problem, um, answered uh, pretty well, all in all. Okay? So that would be a much better CMOS one to look at. From last exam, there is another one here, I believe. Can somebody uh, uh, help me? Uh, I remember seeing it, but if you know where it is, just... Yeah, the practice exam. I think, David, you asked about it. 16? In this, uh, in this, this is not a practice exam. This is like practice seven exam. Yeah, so seven, uh, page seven, for example, much better problem, okay? It's, uh, it does not, uh, say, pride itself on uh, confusing layout. Well, even that is actually, has some break and stuff in it. 